S&P 500 Index, SPX, and Current Chart Analysis as of October 30, 2023. In this video, we will discuss the recent developments in the S&P 500 Index, SPX, and provide a chart analysis. We will also explore the implications of these developments on the broader market and the economy. Last week's analysis. Last week, the small cap stocks experienced a death cross, which occurs when the 50-day average line crosses below the 200-day line. As a result, many technical supports were broken, leading to a decision to move to cash with almost all positions. Current week's analysis. The NYSE advanced decline line has broken below its rising trend support line, along with its 50-day and 200-day average lines, indicating a bearish crossover. Additionally, half of the gains achieved during the October 2022 to August 2023 advance have been erased, raising concerns about the possibility of lower lows, potentially reaching the October 2022 lows. The S&P 500 index, SPX, has also broken below its wave 4 highs in its long-term rising trend support line. Furthermore, it closed at new correction lows, losing 2.39% this past week. These developments have effectively ended the previous uptrend that was in place from October 2022 through August 2023. The chart illustrates the impact of these broken support levels. The SPX opened the week with a gap down and closed on Friday with an additional loss of 2.53%. As a result, the SPX has entered correction territory, having lost 10.5% from its August highs. The NASDAQ 100 index, NDX, has also entered correction territory. Another concerning indicator is the percentage of NYSE stocks trading above their 200-day averages. After this week, only 26% of NYSE stocks are trading above their 200-day averages, indicating a low breadth indicator percentage and suggesting the possibility of lower lows ahead. Additionally, nearly 75% of all NYSE stocks are trading below their 200-day average lines. Economic Outlook Bill Gross, a co-founder of Pacific Investment Management Company, predicts a recession by the end of the year. He points to regional bank carnage and the recent rise in auto delinquencies as indicators of a significant slowdown in the U.S. economy. This prediction contrasts with the Atlanta Federal Reserve's GDP now a real-time indicator, which shows the U.S. economy expanding at a 5.4% annualized rate during the third quarter. However, it is important to note that mortgage rates reached 8% last week, which may impact potential homebuyers and further slow down the housing market. Market Moving Economic Reports Several economic reports were released this past week, providing insights into the state of the U.S. economy. The Chicago Fed National Activity Index suggests that the U.S. economy expanded at its historical trend rate of growth. The S&P Global U.S. Composite PMI indicates an acceleration in the pace of private sector output expansion. Sales of new single-family houses surged, reaching their highest level since February 2022. The U.S. economy expanded by 4.9% in Q3, the most since Q4 of 2021. New orders for manufactured durable goods rebounded significantly, driven by strong demand for transportation equipment. Personal spending increased, while personal income saw a slight rise. Core PCE prices, excluding food and energy, increased, aligning with market estimates. In conclusion, the recent developments in the S&P 500 index SPX, have raised concerns about the possibility of lower lows in the market. Multiple support levels have been broken, leading to a move to cash. Additionally, predictions of a recession by the end of the year and rising mortgage rates add to the uncertainty in the market. However, economic reports indicate that the U.S. economy has been expanding, albeit with some fluctuations. It is important for investors to closely monitor these developments and adjust their strategies accordingly. As always do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.